Welcome to Brief Camp Boot Camp. This is Grant Jensen, and today I'll be reviewing how to accelerate investigations with Review using the Brief Camp Video Content Analytics platform. We'll start by logging into the Brief Camp platform through our thin client, powered by Google Chrome or Firefox, or through single sign-on with select video management systems. Once we've logged into the system, you'll notice the three Brief Camp modules in the top right-hand corner of the interface. The system defaults to opening in the Review module. Review enables users to review hours of video across multiple cameras in just minutes and granularly search and pinpoint objects of interest. Review is built to deliver case management for investigations and reporting. As you can see, there are several cases I have available within my system, each case relevant for different incidents that have occurred. These cases contain video from cameras licensed through the video management system or files that have been ingested into the system. Within a case, for example, our office break-in, you'll be able to see all the objects detected across multiple cameras we've processed related to this incident. At the center of the case, you can see the total of objects that we've detected, 579, from across four hours of video and three different cameras. We detected 235 objects in the dining hall, 221 in the entrance, and 123 in the corridor. In the center of the case is where you'll find all 579 objects individually displayed. On the right-hand side of the case is where you'll find the cross-camera filters that can be applied to narrow down precisely on only relevant objects. Starting at the top, we can look at a specific camera source. We can narrow down the time range. We can also highlight classifications, including people, two-wheeled vehicles, other vehicles, illumination changes, and animals. Additionally, we can filter by person attributes, including upper wear, long and short sleeves by color, lower wear, long and short by color, hat, bag, including no bag, backpack, and handheld. I want to highlight we provide tolerance levels for every filter, which can be adjusted by the operator conducting this investigation on a case-by-case -case basis. Additionally, moving down the list, we can search by color, size, speed, dwell, and direction. We then follow that up with appearance similarity, facial recognition, and license plate recognition. You can also complete camera-specific analysis using our visual layers or search tools, including an activity analysis, a dwell analysis, common path analysis, and background change analysis. We provide the ability also to search by area, a specific path, or lines that an object would have crossed. As you'll notice throughout BriefCam Bootcamp and all BriefCam modules, we can leverage all filters within each other. To demonstrate how these filters can be used together to pinpoint a person of interest, we can use any information that was provided relevant to the incident. For example, if we were told that we're looking for a man who is wearing long red sleeves and a hat, we can apply those criteria to see what relevant results we are provided. You can see we now have 10 objects that match this criteria. From here, we can use BriefCam's patented technology, Video Synopsis, to review each of these incidences in a condensed video with timestamps associated with the moments and times that this person was originally detected. For this specific search, we can take the original 30 minutes of video and present all relevant objects in just a minute and 48 seconds. We can also select one of these objects to go back to the original video if we would like to do so as well to understand the complete scene. You can also adjust the density to include more objects within the video synopsis. We can adjust the timestamp. We can also sort by relevance or chronologically, or we can also toggle the bounding boxes for these objects as well. To reset any filters that we've conducted or set in a case, we can select reset filters in the bottom right-hand corner of the interface to start from scratch. To demonstrate facial recognition, you can select the Facial Recognition tab and elect from a few available options. We can select unique identities that we've detected from the video, or we can search based off of a watch list that we've uploaded to the system. If we want to start by selecting this woman to see where she showed up across our campus, we can go ahead and hit Apply and see that we have her 13 different times across three different cameras. Again, seven times at the dining hall, five times at the entrance, and one time in the corridor. From here, if we've determined we'd like to receive a notification or add her to a watch list the next time she comes back to our office or campus, we can add her face to a watch list of interest. 
Once she's been added to our watch list, we can then build a rule and respond to receive a proactive alert the next time she comes back on campus. Watch the BriefCamp Bootcamp Respond video to learn how we can build these alerts for situational awareness. Within our traffic violation case, we can review BriefCamp's LPR capabilities. Again, we can leverage any information that's provided to us related to the case. If we start by selecting the two Faulkner cameras where we believe our vehicle had showed up, and we know that the vehicle we're looking for is a car, from here, we can tell the system to show all plates that was detected off the cars in these two camera views. You can now see that I have 40 different plates that was detected. And if we were provided that the plate started with AM9, and we did not know the remaining back end of this plate, we could do a parcel search to see if any criteria or matches were found. You can now see that we have two different times that this vehicle's plate was detected across two different cameras. We can also search based off of a watch list for license plate recognition as well. To demonstrate BriefCam's visual layers, we can select our consumer behavior case. Starting with the shoe store camera, we could run an activity analysis on this specific camera view. This analysis will provide a heat map of all the object's activity within the view. And in this case, you can see that of all the objects we detected, we have 390 of them interacting in the deepest, reddest areas of this space. We can also select a specific classification to alter this analysis and reflect a single attribute. For example, if we wanted to see any men's activity, we can select men, and now you can see that we have about 40 men interacting in these deeper, redder areas. We can also do a dwell analysis based on their activity as well to understand where men are dwelling within our store. This can also be done with a background change analysis or a common path analysis. Lastly, all of these visual layers can be incorporated into our research dashboards to identify any trends over multiple days and to derive operational intelligence based off of this environment. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this overview helpful. If you have any further questions or would like to see an expanded demonstration of how BriefCam's video content analytics platform can be used to accelerate investigations with review, please reach us at briefcambootcamp at briefcam.com or visit www.briefcam.com.